Today we're going to do graphing. Oh, dude. Yeah. X and Y. That's right. I'm a graph guy. You know what this is called? Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's on the tip of my fat tongue. It's like a canvas, maybe? <laughs> Coordinate plane? Plane. What is the typical baseline equation that will dictate any line for us? On the coordinate. Plane. Y equals MX plus B. Correct. Yep. Brilliant, Dana. <laughs> B is going to be our Y intercept. It's where our line crosses the Y axis. M is what? That's the same thing, but that way. X. No. No. It's the slope. I want to see if you can plot. Let's plot, baby. Y equals one half x plus three. Nah. Nah. Why not? Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? One, two, three. Yep. And now we are going to just plot a couple more points using our slope. We're going to go rise over. What the fuck are you talking about? Rise over run. Hey, run. We're going to rise one. And we're gonna run two. One, two. Yeah, let's do another one. <laughs> another dot? Yeah. Why? So that you can have three dots. I don't want three dots. All right, you feel comfortable drawing a line based off of two points? I want three dots. Let's do one more dot. Yeah, sure. Right? So yeah, so now you're gonna run to the left, left. and two sink one. And sink one. I like saying sink one when I'm drinking beers. Sink one. I'll fucking sink one. Buddy. Give me the line. Don't always just go to beers. Can we get can we go all the way? Bring it down through the graph. Yeah. Ooh, look how much nicer that is. Y equals negative three x minus two. <sighs> try that on all for right, size. All right, I boy. can try that on for size. Try uh, that on for size. That triple XL right there. <laughs> Dude, did you say that because it says three X? No, I said it because of you. That's my Y intercept. That's right here, baby. Bingo. And then negative three X. We're sinking three. Sinking three. We're sinking three beers. One, two, three beers. Yep. And we're running one. So we're going right here. Bingo. And it's going to be nice and steep. If I asked you to draw me a line that was parallel to this line. What would you know to be true about the equation for that line? One of the numbers is the same. What number? The slope. Excellent. Yeah. Really good, Dana. I know, I'm a math guy. That's really good. My mom was a math teacher. How about that? Remember the sheets where you did quick math? I had to I do those too. I freaking won those every single time. Mm. I can do quick math right now. Ask me a question. 134 minus 78. <laughs> 56. Is that right? Yeah. Great. Yep. Dana Beers over here is regular old Goodwill hunting. Regular old Einstein. Goodwill hunting for burgers. You know my Ozempic? I'm just beating Ozempics. Makes me think that if you were to have the lap band surgery, your stomach would just flex <laughs> and burst right through those. Just incredible Hulk its way out of the bands. Doctors would be like, we've never seen this before. <laughs> we've never seen a stomach so intent on defying a surgical procedure in the interest of eating more. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> a full fucking frozen pizza I would love right now. That's what you want? Yeah, right now, yeah, what is it, 11.30? What if I asked you to give me a line that was perpendicular to one of these lines? Lines that are perpendicular in a coordinate plane have slopes that are the same. Wait, 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 say that one more time. I was not listening. Lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are different. Right, I mean. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I know I cheated there, but. The negative reciprocal. Yeah, no, that wouldn't have gotten it. I want a line that is perpendicular to y equals one half x plus three but I want it to have a y-intercept of negative six. Yeah. Negative two. Y equals negative two x minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bang. Good. Yep. And go all the way through the line. If you wanted to find out where those lines intersect, at what point, do you have any idea how you would do that? You can set these two equal to each other. Negative two x minus six. Equals. 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 One half what is X. That from? I don't know what equals. Equals. 
<laughs> what is that from? I actually don't know. It, oh, it's uh, Beetlejuice. Okay. Remember him? Yeah. He's I never, the best, dude. Right. He's I never like, saw that movie. No, no, the little black dude with teeth. Oh, sure. Yeah. He's fun. He uh, He's like my number one guy I want to meet. That's cool. You're watching Beetlejuice. Negative 2x minus 6 equals 1 half. Equals. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Stop doing that. You have to get through this. Equals 1 half x plus 3. Can you solve that equation for me, please? Negative 6 plus 3. 3. What? Negative 6. I fucking know, dude. Solve this equation. I'm trying, dude. You add 6 to both sides, and you get 9 over here. Negative 2x equals... One half x plus nine. Let's subtract one half x from both sides. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you know how to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction? Heavens no. It's five, negative five halves. We're deep in the woods right now. I'm in the and woods. And I have a flashlight and you are dead. In a coma. I'm like the Miss Piggy. Don't even go there. No, Shut up. No, need... Shut up. What's that fucking tail? <laughs> three, three little pigs. Three little pigs? I'm in the woods right now. Like little that. Red Riding Hood? Dad? Yeah, yeah, they were in the woods. Says we're going to divide both sides by negative 5 over 2. 9 over 1 times 2 over 5, and remember it's negative. Thank you. 18 over, over five, 5, and negative. it's negative. Do you want to give me that as a improper fraction? Convert that back, please. Three and three fifths. Oh, well done, Dana Beer. Motherfucker. And it's negative three fifths gives you Negative. your x coordinate for where those two lines intersect. Why are you yelling at me? We gotta get y. Fuck. Y equals two, three, and three fifths, negative, minus six, seven and a fifth. Bingo. Minus, minus six, six, which, which is, is what? one and a fifth. So there. that's your y. Yep. Boom. Slightly positive. Boom. That could be it, right? Let's go, boys. That's how we check our answer. This is some goodwill hunting shit after it all. It is. Beardsy hunting. Okay. So we talked about equations for lines. What's the x if for where a line crosses the y-axis? It's always perpendicular. <laughs> no, it's Negative zero. reciprocal. It's zero. Oh. If you wanted to find your x-intercept, what would you do? you just plug in zero for the y. For the y. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty good. Two lines that are perpendicular to each other have slopes that are the... Negative reciprocal. Negative reciprocal. Yep. Two lines that are parallel have slopes that are... The same. The same. <laughs> yeah, bitch. That's right, bitch. It's quite Look lovely. at all this. Makes sense. Jumbo. Humba jumba. Humba jumba. What is it called? Mumbo jumbo? Mumbo oh, jumbo. That's what you're looking for? Yes. Look at all this mumbo Lots jumbo. Lots of mumbo jumbo. Gumbo. Jambalaya. Sorry for frustrating you. No, you're all good. You're the man. Thank Be you. well. Thanks, brother.